In this video, RioTech presents the HiVis Pump, a revolutionary, unique, patented pump that is specially engineered and built for handling highly viscous materials, so viscous that you can't pour under gravity, like plastics, paste, putty, or semi-solids. There are already extruders in the industry that move such plastic materials. There are also pumps, manufacturers often claim, that can pump products of up to a million centipoys in viscosity. Then you might ask, what is so revolutionary about high-vis pumps? To answer this question, we need to go a little deeper into the challenges posed in high-viscosity pumping. Basically, a pump sucks the product through the inlet port and pushes it out through the discharge port. How does it suck the product inside? It creates a vacuum inside the pump and this vacuum causes the product to flow into the pump. It is in this suction process that the viscosity poses a problem. The higher the viscosity of the product, the higher the suction needed to pull the product into the pump. As you may know, there is a limit to how much suction is theoretically possible. It is impossible to create a higher vacuum than minus 14.7 PSI gauge, period. If this maximum vacuum is not enough to make the product move into the pump because of its viscosity, then we have a familiar problem. The pump will be running, no product inside the pump, so no product is coming out. The pump is cavitating. Or, if your process needs vacuum conditions in your inlet, same story again. Are we out of luck then? Not really. The industry has been solving this problem by adding an auxiliary device to the pump, a pump feeder, which creates a net positive suction head, commonly known in the pumping business as NPSH. We all know what a pain that is adds to the complication of the process, not to mention the cost. With high-vis pumps, such an auxiliary pump feeder will no longer be needed. The high-vis pump is a two-stage pump. The first stage is an NPSH builder. The second stage is a regular twin-screw positive displacement pump. The first stage augers drill into the product and pull the product inside the screw pump cavities. Once the product is inside the pump cavities, the pump has no problem pushing the product out, developing the necessary pressure. The drive is located below the pump and drives both stages together. The inlet conditions can be customized to any size you require or act as a holding hopper of desired capacity. RioTech offers many pump sizes to handle a wide range of flow rate as low as a few pounds per minute to a few hundred pounds per minute. Inlet conditions can be customized to suit your process. It can be flanged to bolt onto other equipment. It can be an open holding hopper to receive product from 55 gallon drums or from a VMAG cart dumper, a mixing tank, etc. Its stainless steel construction is suitable for FDA approved processes for the pharmaceutical industry. USDA approved processes for the food industry, corrosive resistant processes for the chemical industry, cosmetic industry, confectionery industry. There are low profile horizontal layouts to receive product from a Sigma blender with hopper capacity to hold the whole batch. The high vis pump is not for transfer pumping alone. It can be, with appropriate dyes, your low pressure extruder like in extruding licorice ropes. It can be your packaging machine. It can be your portioner in your filling line by adding a clutch brake to the drive, and much, much more. If you're processing high viscosity products in your plant, please give us a call at RioTech and learn how high vis pumps can make your life a little easier. We'd love to hear from you and to meet your high viscosity pumping challenges.